The mixer in Cubase uh, allows you to view and change the settings for all of the individual tracks in your project simultaneously. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to cover some of the main functions of the mixer, which you can see here. Uh, first, a, a quick explanation about the project. Um, I've got two audio tracks here. Uh, one of them is a soundscape and one of them is a vocal recording. I've also got two VST instrument tracks here and here. Uh, it's the same project that's been used in a previous tutorial and uh, the whole mix sounds like this. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal and that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. I can access uh, the mixer in Cubase by going to the devices menu and choosing the mixer option. Alternatively, I can use the keyboard shortcut F3 to hide the mixer and to show it again. If I select uh, a channel strip in the mixer, you'll notice uh, that the corresponding track in the project window is also selected. So now we're going to look at uh, the features uh, which are included in each individual channel strip on the mixer. So each channel strip has a solo and mute buttons. There's the solo, there's the mute. So if I just want to listen to the soundscape, I can solo it. If I want to mute, that all men are created equal. each channel strip also has a level fader that allows you to control uh, the level of that particular track in the mix. So let's say I want to adjust the level of that soundscape. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It so now it's relatively louder. That all men are created equal. And that the rights of every man... And now I can't hear it at all. Each uh, channel strip also has a pan control, which, which I can use to adjust the left to right balance in a stereo mix. We also have uh, on each track uh, read automation and write automation controls uh, and various other controls. Uh, and these uh, are all contained within what is known as the common panel for each, um, uh, for each channel strip. In other words, uh, every channel has them. All of the settings that we've just been talking about uh, can also be accessed in the inspector on the left hand side here uh, and also in the track settings dialog, uh, the channel settings uh, for each track. So uh, in Cubase you can, you, you can always see the same things in several different places and to a certain extent it's a matter of preference uh, which one you use. If I click on this button here, uh, which is labelled Show Extended Mixer, I get uh, some extra controls for each channel strip. And this is known as the Extended Panel uh, for each channel strip. And what I see in the Extended uh, Panel depends on which view option um, I have selected. So uh, along here, um, I can see a variety of different view options options. I could uh, select, for example, nothing at all, or I could choose between a variety, uh, a variety of different things to show in the extended uh, panel of each channel strip. We're going to go through um, some of those features one by one. So the first option uh, is labeled show all inserts. Um, and so if I click on that one, um, I can see all of the insert effects uh, for each channel. And so uh, if I want to add an insert effect on this channel here, I can click and have uh, an insert effect there. And insert effects are covered in more depth in a different tutorial. The next uh, view option, the next two view options in fact, both give me different views for the EQ parameters for each channel. So here uh, I can adjust the EQs parametrically 
and in this mode I can adjust the same settings uh, and see uh, the graph. So that's just two different ways of looking at the same thing. The next three view options uh, are for send effects and I can view all of them at once so all eight send effects for each uh, channel or I can view just the first four or just numbers five to eight. This option here um, allows me to show the surround sound panners for each uh, channel on the mixer and um, obviously this only applies when you're using um, surround sound channels. Here we're just using stereo channels so uh, we just have a normal stereo panner here. This option here uh, allows us to have uh, large VU meters for each track, which looks like this. ...are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. And the very last option, um, it, it labelled Channel Overview, uh, gives us an overview of inserts, EQs and sends um, in one screen for each uh, channel strip. I can extend the mixer again to show the uh, input and output routing for each channel. And so here, uh, if we were recording audio, for example, this is where we would select the audio input that we're using for this channel. Uh, and this section allows us to uh, choose the audio output for that channel. I can hide that again by uh, clicking on this little icon here labeled hide routing and likewise hide the extended mixer sections uh, if I want to. Arguably the most important section uh, of the mixer, however, is uh, the output bus section. Um, and this is uh, on the right hand side here. Uh, in this case, we only have one output bus and probably in most of the projects that you're involved with in Cubase, you will also only have one output bus. You can have more than one. This project only has one. Um, the output bus section is similar to the master section of an analog mixing desk. Um, and it is uh, in most respects similar to any other channel strip. Um, in this case, uh, it has a level control uh, which allows us to uh, adjust the level of the overall mix. Uh, so these level controls allow us to control uh, the individual levels of tracks within the mix. And this one controls the level of the mix as a whole. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. So now we can't hear anything at all. And that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man. The output bus uh, can be hidden and unhidden by using uh, this little button here labeled hide output channels. So if I click on that, we won't be able to see the output buses anymore. Notice uh, if I once again uh, show the extended mixer. Uh, that the output channel has all of the same extended functionalities as all of the other channel strips. In other words, it has uh, insert uh, effects, it has EQ settings, and so on. So uh, if I want to, for example, apply compression and reverb across the whole mix, uh, I can add those as, input, uh, as insert effects on the output uh, channel. So I'll add a compressor, let's say, and a reverb. Similarly, uh, if I want to apply uh, equalization to the whole mix as opposed to applying it to an individual track, uh, I can select the equalization settings and apply those to the uh, output channel as well. The processes of applying equalization and using insert effects are both covered in different tutorials.